Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sneha and today I'm going to share my iMats London haul with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing which products I picked up and also which booths I visited and also kind of a little bit of reasoning why, then please continue watching. So this time when I visited, I did have a long list of products to buy and I did have priorities. So that's something I highly recommend if you are visiting iMats because it can get quite a bit mental in there and you get overwhelmed and excited because there's so many brands and at good discounts. So you may be tempted to buy stuff you actually don't need. So make a list. By the way, I did want to mention that uh, there may be a couple of products here and there that I purchased for myself. But overall, most of these products are going straight into my kit. Or some of these are like repeat purchases, like staples such as moisturizer, brush cleanser, those kind of things. And other products such as the color fixes by Danessa Myricks. I already have quite a few of them. I did buy some new colors. So <laughs> that's the range of products. A few products that I'm trying for the first time, but mostly repeat purchases or getting backups. So I visited iMads on Friday, which is the day for pro artists. So the first booth I visited was Hakuhodo. So last year I did try out the brushes and I fell in love. So I did want to get some more brushes. So I got five total. This is J116. This is something I got to apply foundation or concealer or just liquid products or cream products in general. So I think this is a fully goat hair bristle, but it's really soft. I can't wait to try it. The rest four are eye brushes. The first one is one of my favorite shapes and it should be of no surprise that it's like this. It reminds me quite a bit of the Wayne Goss eye brush set and it has like two brushes but none of them come to this fine tip which this Hakuhodo brush has. This is J146 in case you're curious and it just looks beautiful not just for spot concealing but to do maybe a little bit of concealer work, blending out stuff and applying colors to the crease, lower lash line, any of that stuff. So really excited to get that. Next I got myself another flat brush. This is B004G. This is what it looks like. Again, it's a style of brush that I use quite a bit in my pro kit, so that's why I have that. Then I purchased two eyeliner brushes, and these are the eye series. This first one on top is 190N5, and the bottom one is 007N6. Now I will mention all the brush numbers and everything in the description box below <laughs> in case I mess up reading the numbers straight up. So that's it for Hakuhodo. Next, I ran straight to Love Makeup. It is probably one of my favorite stores here in the UK. So the first thing I picked up is my one of my favorite brush cleansers. This is something I love for spot cleaning. So this is the giant container of Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. Then another staple in my makeup kit is homeoplasmin. This is my favorite lip balm. So I did get a backup and I also picked up the chapstick form. So I want to see how it compares to the cream and vice versa. From Danessa Myricks, I picked up two of her blushes. So these are the two ones I picked up. The shades are Ballet Slipper and Sugar Plum. I don't know if you can see through the window there. One is like a peachy tone and the other one's like a purple kind of a tone. So this one, which is Ballet Slippers, the peachy one is what I have on my cheeks today and lightly across my eyelids and also as a base for my lipstick. But I also did get the darker shade just because I don't have anything in the purple tones. It's quite difficult to find good blushes. So that's the reason I got Sugar Plum. From the glazes, I did pick up a new shade, which is like a grungy black with shimmer running through it. And it's the shade Oil Slick Glaze. Not sure if you can tell the little sparkle there. I think you can see there. Next, I also bought four of the matte color fixes. So I got the white one, which is called Lift, which is just a white. <laughs> just got it because I can mix it into colors because I already have the black. Then I picked up something I've been wanting for a long time. It's always sold out when I look at it online. It's this stunning orange color, which is called Carrot Top, which looks absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to use it on some shoots. This gorgeous purple called Royalty. Royalty, right? Yeah. And then a deeper purple. And this one's called Tribe. So those are all the beautiful Colorfix products that I purchased. 
Then I also wanted to get one of her dew wet balms. So I wanted the clear one and that's what I gave to the person at the counter. But I think because it was so rushed, there were so many people there, she by accident gave me morning dew, so which is fine. It's just that the clear one didn't have any shimmer, but this one seems to have a bit of shimmer running through it. Let's do a quick swatch. That's what the product looks like. Just going to apply it to my cheeks instead of wasting it. As you can see, it gives a really nice, like healthy skin look. And the good thing about this product is you can use it even over powders and stuff. So it's really good. But that's what it looks like. Two more products I picked up from Danessa Myricks. The first one is the Evolution Powder. This time I picked up shade number two because last time I got shade number three and that ended up being too dark for me. So hopefully this will work out or I can mix three and two to apply. And then I got the other Lux Cream Palette. I already have the one in Feminist. So this is the nude version. And of these, this is the shade I used on top of that blush shade today. And that's what you see on my lips. I did use a brown lip liner just to give my lips some definition, but this is the predominant shade you see on top. Next, I did purchase some brushes. So from Louise Young, which is also part of Love Makeup here, I picked up the LY18, the vegan version. It's another flat brush, but it's smaller and it seems quite nice and stiff. And because it's vegan, I think I can use it with color fixes and those kind of products. And then I also picked up a brush from Isa. This is the W23. I already have the W19 and I believe the W21. I really enjoyed the quality, so I wanted to pick up a larger flat brush, so. And the last product I picked up from Love Makeup is a backup of my Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade Saint. And this is something I use on an everyday basis and I'm almost out of my older one. I still have a little bit to go through but it's a shade I really love. So that's one product I did buy for myself. Now moving on to the next brand, which is Sean Richards. And it's a new brand for my kit, but ever since I've looked at their products online, I've been very intrigued, especially by their 4K creams. So they have what is called a 4K longwear cream. They have it in various skin tone palettes. So they have a really light palette called Boreal. Next up, they have Ether, which would cover medium light medium to like medium tan skin tones including mine so that's a palette that I picked up ether and this is the shade range in that and I use the shades this one uh, which is honey and a little bit of this one golden caramel just to bronze on the outside and that's what I've used today then the next shade up is essence which looks like this this is a beautiful palette for darker skin tones. And then for really rich, deep skin tones from the African subcontinent, she did develop another palette called Melanin, which she developed, I believe, uh, when she was filming Black Panther. So yeah, so if you want more deeper shades than what is in Essence, definitely check out Melanin palette. I think it's one of the best dark skin tone representative palette, if that makes sense. That's something I do want to add to my kit at some point, but not right now, just because these are expensive. Each of this palette is 70 pounds, so they are quite steep, and therefore I did just buy these two for now. And I also picked up another colored kind of a palette, which is Vida Vida. <laughs> Vida palette, I think, V-I-D-A. This is the color range, and as you can see, I've been playing around with some of the shades in this palette as well on my lips. The best thing about this is it's waterproof, it's transfer proof, and <laughs> it just looks good and lasts all day on your skin. You do need an oil-based cleanser to remove these products. Now to go with the 4K palettes, she does have her 4K Marvelous Moisturizer, which is also something I purchased. And that's what I mixed in with my foundation today and that's what I have on my skin today. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below what you think. I really am enjoying the finish it's leaving on the skin. It doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin. It's covered what it should. I haven't used any concealer today. It's just that ether palette that's on my face with this moisturizer. I also picked up her 4K cold cream cleanser just because I wasn't sure if 
I needed the specific cleanser to remove the makeup at the end of the day. But once I got back home and I've played around with this a bit, I have tried using my regular oil-based cleansers and it does take the makeup off quite easily. So this is something I will use in my kit. I also picked up a new product that she's launching, which is called the 4K Longwear Schmix, <laughs> which is like a primer kind of a product that you can mix in with the cream products, the 4K products, without losing the waterproof and the transfer proof ability of that product. Because if you do mix it with the moisturizer, like I have today, it loses some of its transfer resistance properties just because the product is diluted. But you can avoid that if you mix it in with Schmix. So I think I'm gonna do like a half face with the Schmix and half face with the moisturizer with this palette. And we'll see how that goes, but that's for another video. I picked up her goat milk blush, not blush, brush cleanser, which is a solid soap. And this is the giant tub. And I picked up the scent English Lavender. And I first went in wanting to get the no scent one, but because I was concerned that the brushes would smell of lavender, but they did tell me that the smell or the scent is only from essential oils. And it's only when you are actually washing the brushes, it doesn't linger on the brushes once it's rinsed off. So hopefully that should be a good buy. Then I also picked up these kind of things. <laughs> they look like a cloth. But essentially, they are antibacterial um, sheets that you can use instead of uh, paper towels. So it's just an environmental friendly alternative to paper towels. As makeup artists, you guys probably know that we go through a lot of paper towels and other disposables as well. So this is one step to kind of reduce the paper towel waste. So with this, you can put it in the washing machine and just get it clean and reuse it multiple times. So I think one sheet can last you for years, if I'm correct. And if you take care of it, obviously. So that's something I purchased. And they were kind enough to give me some brush covers. And then lastly, I purchased some brushes from her brand. Now, Sean Richards was initially launched as London Brush Company. So LBC, if you've seen that brand before, it's the same brand. They are rebranding it and now calling it Sean Richards just because they have a bigger umbrella of products now. So they have natural hair bristles and that's what Sean recommends and really enjoys using. And then they also have um, synthetic hair brushes. So I did pick up four of the brushes in a few different styles. So I think these two are natural style brushes. They are from her classic line. This first one is the classic number 19 and it is so, so soft. I plan to use it with powder and also for blush or any kind of powder products. It is brilliant to use on the face, or at least it feels brilliant. I can't wait to use this. The next one I got is like a pointed lip brush, which I think will be nice to add to my kit. The next one I have is one of her best kept secret number five brush. This brush is like a triangular shape. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's pinched such that you have three surfaces. So one, two, and then three. <laughs> so that's how the brush is. I just thought it was a really nice shape and I could get quite a bit of use. Lastly, I picked up one of her Innovation line brushes. This is number one. This is what it looks like. I purchased this mostly for my creative or editorial kind of shoots, not for regular makeup wear. <laughs> Now, moving on to Embryolise, they had a counter of their own, and of course I had to get my cult favorite, which is Lake Cream Concentrate, so I did get a backup for that. And then I've been eyeing this eye cream from them, which is slightly expensive, so I was happy to get it at a discount. So it's their Smoothing Eye Contour Cream. So it's supposed to be good for wrinkles or dark circles or any kind of bags around the eye. So really interested in trying that. Next, moving on to Tilt Makeup. I first picked up an Evian, Evian spray. <laughs> it's just a facial spray for hydrating and moisturizing the face. This big spray bottle was under 10 pounds, so definitely more economic in terms of comparing it with, say, Max Fix Plus or something like that. But I've heard this is very refreshing and good to add on the skin before makeup application. Then I picked up a Wuset Tahiti palette, an empty palette like this. I think I'm going to depot some of the Sean Richards 
foundations into this just because those containers are I believe not airtight whereas this one is so and I also need just one palette to carry all the shades so I might just use this instead of that and scrape little amounts into this at a time. If you guys follow my work at Artistry by Sneha you should know that I've used the Face Atelier foundation quite a bit almost exclusively I think unless sometimes when I need more coverage then I use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid but usually I tend to use the Face Atelier foundations and I found that I was mixing the shades 1 and 6 quite a lot <laughs> so much so that I've used up half of those bottles so I did want to buy some shades in between so I picked up shades 3 and 4 which are sand and wheat then I picked up more brushes from <laughs> Cosette this one is S140 and this is what it looks like they're all synthetic brushes this just is so soft and seems like a nice size for multi-purpose so blush highlighter bronzer contour foundation it just seems like a very versatile brush so that's why i picked this one up and then four little brushes three for the eyes so this one is d220 which looks like this like a small crease brush next one is s185 which is one of the favorite brushes from Vanessa Myrick so that's the reason I picked this one up. It reminds me quite a bit of a Sigma brush that I use uh, but we'll see how it performs and the last eye brush I picked up is D240 which is like a fat flat shader brush and then I also picked up a lip brush which is the P370. So this is what those brushes look like and then lastly from Tilt Makeup I did purchase one of these spray bottles. Now, if you're not familiar with this, it's a really nice product. I, I don't know what brand it is. I can't remember, but I have one of these before. Let me go grab that one. Okay, found it. So this I have my Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder, so nothing fancy. But what is cool about this product is, once you have the nozzle up like this, you can convert a powder product into a spray. Do you see that powder coming off? It's so cool. Now I have powder everywhere. But I purchased another one just because I thought we can use loose highlighters. Think of pigments. You can do so much with this. So that's the reason I picked another one up. Moving on, I went to Eldora Lashes. So they had three for 10 deal. The first one is H149. That's what that looks like. Quite a natural style of lashes. Totally a style I would wear. This is another natural style, the second one, but slightly more dense at the base. So it's H160. And then lastly, we have this guy, which is quite spiky and long, <laughs> which is H176. And then we were all gifted a free lash when we were standing in line to get in, which is the H163. And this is what it looks like. Again, quite a spiky style of lash. Next, I went to my Kitco. I didn't purchase any bags or any of those because I already have what I need. I did pick up a mascara wand, disposable ones. This is a smaller size, so it's called the My Scara Ball <laughs> style. I just thought this would be nice for the lower lashes or to do some detailed mascara work. And then I picked up three brushes from my Kitco as well. The first one is my Precision Concealer Brush, which is 0.2, which looks like this. It's a large, flat concealer brush. Next, I picked up the Fluffy Concealer Brush. This is 0.3. I think this is one of the newer brushes. I picked this one up because I do have a quite a lot of brushes, which are natural bristle, that have this kind of shape, but this should be nice to do these color fixes and those kind of products which are long wearing and long lasting so I do prefer a synthetic brush to use with those so that's why I picked this one up and then a really small crease brush this is 1.2 so this is what it looks like it's another crease or detail or lower lash line kind of a brush next there was a counter for soap brows and although I had no intentions of buying any but they had this spin wheel <laughs> where you can try your luck and see if you get a discount on purchase or if you get this if you buy something else or blah 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 but there was one thing which said free soap brows <laughs> and I just really wanted soap brows in my kit but I didn't want to buy it <laughs> so I did end up getting it just by turning the wheel so 
I finally have soap brows for my kid. So with that, they also gave me a little spoolie. So yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in a tutorial and we can play around with soap brows. Then I went to Maron. They had a counter of their own. I did buy their mixing liquid, which is very popular. So that's something I did purchase. And then I also picked up uh, my first product in face painting. So this is the Mehron Prisma Paradise Flash Palette. And if I open it, this is what that looks like. It smells like coconut. So I've already used it. That's why it looks a little bit rugged. And I did create some fun flowers using it for the first time. So it should be interesting to create new looks with it. But overall, it's really nice and easy to come off from the face, uh, except for the dark blue. I did paint my face as well. So it did leave a stain for a few hours before I used an oil-based cleanser at night. So if you are buying this, make sure that your client has some form of oil cleanser so that they can take everything off. Last but not least, I also went to the NYX counter. I purchased my favorite brow gel at the moment, which is the NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel. So I did buy a backup. And then I also picked up a backup of the NYX brow pencil. This is in the shade black, and this is for me as well. And then as signing up for their pro program, they also gave us a free lipstick of choice. So this is the shade I picked up. It's like a peachy nude color. And then Love Makeup had the most amazing deal where they were giving away a goodie bag. So this full box of products if we spend 80 pounds. So 80 pounds was very easy <laughs> considering all the Danessa Myricks products, the brushes and all of that. So let me show you what I got in this lovely goodie bag. Firstly, it includes a 12 pan Viseart palette. And we had a choice between neutral matte and dark matte. And I got another neutral matte. So I always keep switching the neutral matte palette from my personal use to my kids. So I finally have a second one. So I think now I can segregate this particular palette. Then we got a lovely sponge by Cinema Secrets, a powder puff, basically. We got the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. This is the full size, which is brilliant. We got another Lime Crime Velveteen, but this is in the shade Jinx. It's like a more purple tone. It's quite dark. We got a full size of Danessa Myricks Illuminating Whale, and this is the shade Light. I do not have the shade, so this is fantastic to add to my kit. Then we have the Vision Cover Cream, Danessa Myricks Foundation. I got the shade N8, I believe. Yeah, N8, Neutral 8. And I think it's a little dark for me, but it's good to try out. I do have a few other shades, like in sample sizes from her line. So this will be interesting to try out and add to it. Then we got two brushes from Kitstar. We got a S33 blush brush. This is what it looks like. These are all synthetic fibers, I believe. Sorry, S3 blush brush. It's really soft. And we got an eye brush, a flat eye brush, which is perfect. This is S32 shader brush. And the goodie bag continues. I got a small little container of the Cinema Secrets brush cleanser. And when I saw this, I was like so excited that I can finally carry a little container of this in my kit. Then we got a Makeup Atelier Paris lip liner. This is like a nude shade and the color is C00. This is what it looks like. Good for my kit. Then I have three lip shades. These are from Le Maquillage Pro, which is a line of foundation I really enjoy, but it's their lip products and I have three shades to try from. There's a nudie shade, there's like more of a raspberry pink and a beautiful red shade. And I think they are like liquid lipsticks, so I'm very interested to try that. Then from the same brand, Le Maquillage Pro, we got a base strobe kind of a product. So it seems like a nice white gold kind of uh, liquid highlighter. And then their mattifying primer, a sample. So we'll be interested to try this one out as well. Then we have a pearl powder, a pigment by Makeup Atelier. This is the shade Melon PP10. It's like a light champagne peachy nude. <laughs> then a little container of hand sanitizer. You can never have enough of that. This is called Tent Skin Liquid. I think it's like an aftershave or something, but I have to look it up to get to know the product before I try it on anybody. Then we have uh, Melanie Mills Hollywood. 
Gleam Body Radiance. This is the shade Opalescence. So a little jar with that. And then American Body Art Pixie Paint. Resembles, uh, what are those things called? I can't remember the name, but once I do, I will put it on the screen. But it reminds me of that. And it has, it's like a paste of sparkle and glitter goodness. So I don't know if you can see the different sizes in there. This should be fun to use on a photo shoot. And then lastly, we got a pair of lashes. This is by the brand Monda. <laughs> and the style is 747XL, extra small, I guess. But this is what that looks like. Quite a natural pair of lashes. And then of course the bag, which can be reused to carry products in my kit. But that's it. That's all the products I purchased this year at iMats London. If you'd like a review for any particular product, do let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed it, please, as always, give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.